Last night was the penultimate episode of Big Brother UK and there was so many mixed emotions. First of all because I'm a really emotional person but also because I think that this is one of the most boring seasons of Big Brother UK I've ever watched but at the same time I'm still going to miss it because I just love Big Brother so much. The good news is Big Brother Australia is on just now. It's my absolute favourite and I've got that to tide me over for a few months. Henry was in the diary room talking about how he's loved being in the house and getting to spend time with people from all walks of life. And at the start when he was up for nomination, he says that he was starting to learn and change his mind about immigrants because he had a certain attitude about it before he went into the house. And I really think that going into the Big Brother house is something that can change you for the rest of your life. That's one of the reasons why I want to go in there. He was saying that he knows he's a snob and that people can be judged for liking nice things and I'm always saying this. Online people are always saying, oh they're spending their money on this or we're in a cost of living crisis, they shouldn't be doing that. And it's like, it's not their fault that you're poor, let people live. He was talking about his 7th birthday and how he got took to a 2 Michelin star restaurant and people were saying they're starving children in the world and he's going to a 2 Michelin star restaurant. Let people do what they want. Matty was in the diary room and he was talking about missing home and he said once he gets out he's going to regret wishing the time away and I actually think that he was like this because the other day they were talking about his boyfriend coming back and he says he got home on Wednesday so he would have known that his boyfriend was back and he hadn't seen him yet so obviously he was going to be upset. Big Brother decided to give half the housemates seven minutes in heaven so Noki got to choose between sushi or an afternoon tea for Yernon. And obviously she chose herself. I was watching this with my friend and he says, how much sushi can you eat in seven minutes? I was like, are you serious right now? Loads. Matty got to choose between dancing to Florence in the Machine or Olivia to get seven minutes of karaoke classics in a Cosmo. And I thought his prize is a bit shit, right? But obviously it made him happy. And then when he chose to dance instead of Olivia singing, I thought he's done us all a favour there. Jordan chose between wine and classical music or giving Henry seven minutes with his dog and he obviously chose to give Henry seven minutes with his dog and he was saying I hope you're being fed well, I hope you're getting your usual tuna steaks and people online were freaking out, right? They were like, why does a dog need tuna steaks? We're in a cost of living crisis. See if I hear anybody moaning about the cost of living crisis again when somebody else is spending their own money, I'm going to flip. I know people who aren't rich who give their dog steaks. I know people who would feed their dog before they feed theirself. There's no problem here. Why does everybody have to make him out now a molehill? Then it was time for letters from home and normally I am a sobbing mess. But in this case, I didn't really think any of them were that sad. But when it was time for Matty's letter and it didn't tell you who was writing it at the start and it says I watched you go into the house and I, I've even watched you sleep and I thought, oh, this must be Big Brother writing this letter. Now, I already knew that Matty was going, but the fact that Yernon was reading the letter, I thought, oh God, if this actually evicts him, she is going to be a mess. So then at the end, and she was saying the public have been voting and you've been evicted, and I thought, oh man, that was harsh, right? That was really harsh. I was watching it with my friend and they were like, oh yes, that was so good. Because online people were saying that was too brutal, like it was too much. But that's what Big Brother is all about, right? We should be getting moments like that all the time, at least once a week. That's part of the funny, Big Brother. It didn't actually do any harm, and I okay it was harsh at the time, but that's why you watch it. In the end, when they were all celebrating being in the finals, and they were going into the diary room and saying, oh, thanks, Big Brother, I've really enjoyed this experience and everything. And I was just like, I was, I was sitting with my friend, right, who's seen me cry a million times, but I was sitting just like crying a wee bit. But if they hadn't have been there, I'd have been a mess. Particularly because Jordan went into the diary room and he says, oh, I don't really smile, but if I could, I would. And then later when they were all hugging and stuff, he was sitting actually smiling. And I was like, oh, too much. Even though I'm really going to miss Big Brother, I'm not going to miss Yin runs over the top crying, Olivia's squealing for no reason, and the Scottish lassie on the subway advert. If I had to listen to her saying, Big Brother, you're pumping that in here, aren't you? One more time, I was going to smash my TV. For tonight, I've not only put my five votes on Henry, I've put a bet on for him to win, and I bet £20. So that means that when he wins tonight, I'm going to win £240. 
So if you're somebody who watches Big Brother and you've never voted, or if you're not really that bothered who wins, download the app and give Henry your five votes so that I can win my money. Tonight is going to be super emotional, so I better hold myself together. Let me know in the comments who you've put your five votes on, and I'll see you tomorrow.